Welcome to episode 201, Jesse Livermore, George Soros, Best Traders in Wall Street, 10 Comparisons. This is an outline of episode 201. Why do we compare Jesse Livermore and George Soros? Because Livermore was the best trader in Wall Street from 1900 to 1930. George Soros was the best trader in Wall Street from 1969 to 1999. No other traders come close. Who is Jesse Livermore? Every facet of his life belongs to a Hollywood script. Jesse Livermore was famous for being very handsome, very rich, and very secretive. Who is George Soros? Born in Hungary to Jewish family in 1930, escaped to England during World War II. His hedge fund, Quantum Fund, which he co-founded with Jim Rogers, is the most successful hedge fund in history. For much of the past 30 years, George Soros has been the richest man in Wall Street. Comparison number one, they both are famous short sellers. Jesse Livermore shorted the stock market in 1929 and made a hundred million dollars. George Soros made history by shorting the British pound on Black Wednesday. That's the 16th September 1992, and he made more than a billion dollars in one day. Comparison number two, they are both famous womanizer. Livermore married three times. Soros also married three times. The last time Soros married, he was 83. The year was 2013, and George Soros married Tomiko Bolton. 83-year-old billionaire George Soros has married for the third time and a 42-year-old healthcare and education consultant Tomiko Bolton, who he met at a dinner party in 2008. Comparison number three, they are both self-taught genius. Livermore and Soros do not have any mentor. They invent their own trading rules, which are quite revolutionary. Livermore is a math wizard who never went to high school. Soros was a philosophy major at the London School of Economics. Comparison number four, good writer, bad writer. Livermore is an excellent writer. Soros is a really bad writer. He also writes a lot. If you have to read one book from Soros, please read Soros on Soros. Comparison five, trauma childhood. Both Livermore and Soros had trauma childhood. Livermore was a math wizard in high school. His father wanted him to grow potatoes. So at age 14, with the help of his mother, he ran away to escape a life of farming. Sorrow spent his childhood under the disguise of Christian to escape death in Nazi Hungary in World War II. Comparison six, philanthropy versus suicide. Happy trader, sad trader. In 2017, Soros had spent more than $13 billion on philanthropy, mostly with the creation of Open Society Foundation. In 1940, at the age of 63, Livermore committed suicide by shooting himself. This is the last picture of Jesse Livermore taken before his death with his third and last wife. Comparison seven, secretive versus open. Livermore is very secretive. I cannot even find one video of him. He avoided the limelight. In contrast, Soros is a very public figure, appear regularly on TV and give numerous lectures, teaching the world his theory of reflexivity. Comparison number eight, both are contrarians. Soros call it staying ahead of the curve. The curve here is the crowd. Livermore was once the richest man on Wall Street in 1929 by betting against the crowd. Comparison number nine, both are momentum traders. Both Livermore and Soros understand it is emotion rather than reason that drives the market. Soros' most famous quote, invest first, investigate later. Livermore is famous as the boy plunger. Livermore was bankrupt five times. Comparison number 10, most famous saying, Jesse Livermore, Wall Street never changes. The pockets change, the suckers change, the stocks change, but Wall Street never changes because human nature never changes.
call it Black Wednesday, the day that currency speculators broke the Bank of England. The bank and British taxpayers lost six billion pounds. It's really a once in a decade, and that's when he is really, that's when he is George Soros. That's when he just says, you can't have enough of this. And if, if there's one thing I've learned from him is that when you're right and you know something, you really feel it, you can't have enough. And the biggest mistake, if, if I had to sum up his investment philosophy in one sentence, it's, it's that it's not whether you're right or wrong. You just have to have the max on when you're right. And that's his unique innate ability. Thank you for watching. I've done seven episodes on Livermore and Soros already. Please watch them. Livermore and Soros are the best traders. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.